by West Shore Bank. And I'm joined today with Andy Skinner, the director of the Lens Area Center for the Arts. Hi, how's it going? It's going, how are you? Hi, sir. Air Hi, So let's talk about the Arts Center. Let's first talk about why we are in Waterfront Park. Well, we're in Waterfront Park today because uh, starting next Wednesday through September 5th, we are going to be hosting the Lack of Summer Concert Series here at wonderful Waterfront Park. Cool. Yes. Great. So tell me about this. Every Wednesday, 7 p.m., a whole slew of artists from around Michigan, a couple national artists coming in, playing concert right here, free to the public. Awesome. Yeah. Bring your lawn chair. Bring your lawn chair. We're going to have some social distancing signs out. We're requesting that people stay four dancing seagulls apart at all times. to everybody and if you choose to wear a mask even though we're outside if the crowd gets a little loud large please. or loud or loud wear your plugs your plugs for safety that way cool yep. all right awesome so what's happening at the gallery right now tell me a little about the exhibits that you have on site and how people sure. can come and see them yep. Um, so right now in the main gallery we have Ken Cooper's What I Did on My Summer Vacation. They are architectural watercolors, a little bit of mixed media in there. Um, that's in the main gallery. And then in our newly renovated performance hall gallery, um, we have an exhibit entitled Pandemic Ingenuity. And it's filled with about 60 pieces of artwork created by 26 artists. Um, and all the artwork was made during the COVID-19 shutdown. Okay. Yeah. Are they mostly local people? Um, there is one or two people from Grand Rapids, okay. but most of them are local. You have some stuff in there. I have some stuff in there. Um, Chris Van Wyk has a real cool repurposed door into a chair. Yes. It's really cool. Um, I heard you were going to play. see the exhibits and check out the gift shop um, and don't trouble. Um, when we do have artist receptions, we've been doing a reservation system to manage the flow of people coming in and out. Is that on the website or on Facebook? How do they do the that? reservation system um, is on our website, our Facebook page, and our online store. Okay. Um, but uh, that's only for artist reception, so that won't happen again until August. Okay. But those are still free? Yep. And everything the same, basically, you just have to register online because COVID. Yep, check out our website, uh, LuddingtonArtsCenter.org for all that. Okay, so what's coming up? Um, got coming back up for August, we have uh, an exhibit that I'm super excited about. Um, my former neighbors, Frank Galante and Paula de Gregorio, are going to be having an exhibit, a long-awaited exhibit. It's entitled Double Vision, and it's going to have tons of artwork that they've created over the years and semi-recently with the piece de resistance being they are working on some still lifes um the same still life they're doing but they're each doing it in their own style so it could be a pastel and a collage or an oil painting or a watercolor or a they're super cool. they're super talented Detroit Institute of Arts will be 
uh, in town uh, coming up this weekend and installing seven reproductions from their collection around Ludington. Um, we're going to have some two in front of the Art Center okay. of Ron Harrison, one in front of the library, one in Rotary Park, one right down there at the end of the peninsula uh, here at Waterfront Park. Okay. And then uh, we're also going to have one here on the side of the pavilion here at Waterfront Park. What types of pieces are they? Um, they are various sizes from their collection. Um, don't all those. paintings? Um, they are all paintings. Okay. Like, okay. Yeah, so there'll be a little bit of information on the artist and the artwork that goes along with it. The art center is working on getting brochures um, okay. and having a walking tour sure. for all those as well. Um, and it's a great free thing to do to get out and about. Easy to social distance, yeah. easy to walk around Ludington and see. Sure. Should be pretty cool. Are they staying permanently? They were are going to be on display through October. Okay. Um, they were supposed to be installed back in May, but because of COVID, uh, we were delayed. So I'm working with the DIA to see if we could be accepted into the program next year as well okay. to have a full run of it. Sure. Awesome. Well, anything else happening that you want to talk about? Um, we also, in September, the Art Center will be hosting its members only show. Um, all The only requirement for that show in, a, in September is you have to be a lack of member, so you can purchase your membership the day that you bring in your artwork. Um, look for information on our website, LuddingtonArtsCenter.org, for information on drop off towards the end of August. Um, and then in October, we're going to have a uh, the second annual ARF Prize, uh, all dog themed art, and then also in the Performance Hall Gallery in October, we're looking to have um, the West Shore Pride's LGBTQ show. Again. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. Well, thanks for joining me. Thank you. I appreciate it. For any other news, oh, yes. For any other news, check out MasonCountyPress.com, and our weather is always brought to you by Smith and Eddie Insurance. Go check out the Lenton Area Center for the Arts. They're open Tuesday through Friday at least 11 to 4 yep. and they're working on Saturday. You might catch us. Yeah so they have a lot of stuff going on but starting this Wednesday here at Waterfront Park they'll start their outdoor uh, waterfront concert series at 7 p.m.